Boy, just be yourself. If people don't like you, if you're being yourself, fuck them. Yeah. Los Hollywood Gab. And welcome to, as of now, the uh, final episode of The Noise. Uh, if you haven't yet, you know, you can still follow us on the big three Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Noise Podcast. So you can stay caught up with any updates uh, with what's going on with this podcast. But of course, as always, follow at Beat Network um, on all the social medias. I think it's Beat Network One on Facebook. Somebody. Somebody got to Beat Network on Facebook before I created Beat Network. <laughs> but they're and they not doing sitting on it. But they're not doing shit with it, bro. Yeah, they just sitting on it. And of course, trying to contact Facebook is like trying to get in touch with the unemployment office right now. <laughs> shit is <laughs> man. Especially during the uh during the fucking pandemic, during the, the real meat of the pandemic. Trying to get in touch with <laughs> Facebook, they ain't having it. They ain't trying to hear nobody. We ain't got nothing to talk about. You hear me? <laughs> right. but, uh, but yeah, go ahead and follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash beat network one, uh, at beat network on Instagram. Uh, need to get this shit back up and running, but I think it's at beat network on Twitter or beat underscore network. It's one of those. Something just, just type it in. It, 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 it should pop up and definitely download the beat network app on Amazon fire TV stick. Uh, just search beat network. It'll come right up. We, there we are the only one. <laughs> yes, we are. So, uh, as uh, as I announced in the intro, there, this is uh, as of right now the final episode of the Noise. We are going on a hiatus. Uh, not too sure how long it's going to be, um, but it's a, it's a lot of things that need to be uh, figured out on the personal side. You know, on the side of Carlos Sampson and Kevin Shaw. Uh, mm-hmm. But just understand, you know, and, and those things have been affecting what Big Los and Hollywood Kev does. And that's just being completely honest with you. Um, before we get into, we won't get too much into our personal. At least I won't, you know, have you know, completely uh, freedom for you. Um, we do want to say that it's no, you know, unlike the Joe Button podcast. I was just, why, why was I just about to say that? It ain't no Joe Button shit, man. <laughs> it's definitely no Joe Button shit. You know what I'm saying? Me and Kev, we've been tight. Uh, shit, coming up 10 years next year. Um, yeah, you know me. Me and Kevin been, been tight, since, you know, what I'm saying for close to ten years now. Uh, we've never had a fallen out. Of course, we've we've had words with men, um, but you know, it's never been anything that one ever affected our friendship, our brotherhood, and two never affected our business. Um, so there's no reasons behind that. You know, this still my brother for life. Um, mm-hmm. There hasn't been any um, mishandlings when it comes down to the uh, to the noise or anything like that. Just being completely honest and transparent, and I said it before: the our personal lives are really has really been affecting uh, our production when it comes down to the noise. As I'm sure y'all have noticed, uh, we, even with this episode coming out on a late Thursday. Uh, we're, fun fact: we're recording it today. We're recording on that exact time. <laughs> Um, this very moment. At, at this very moment. <laughs> and it's just been, um, it, it, it's we've definitely seen it take a toll numbers wise. You know, the numbers that we still get are still great for a grassroots uh, podcast. But for the time that we've been putting in, you know, um, the unfortunate inconsistencies on our part, you know, it's, it's taking a toll. And personally, you know, I, I feel as if that's unfair to the listener. I know Kev feels the same way. Um mm-hmm. You know, it's been uh, five years uh, we, we, we've been doing this show and we've seen some amazing heights and we've seen some shitty lows. And, you know, we just want to make sure that the personal doesn't affect the business going forward. You know, it, 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 you know, if and when we right. return and, uh, and get the noise back up. I, I, I agree. You, you, you've said it all. It, it, I mean, we, we can only do so much. You know what I mean? Like, your personal life can only affect certain shit. You know, you can only block it out for so much. Then at, at some point, you're like, you know what? Let, let, let me slow down a little bit. So I think we had that slow down phase. Yeah, definitely at the slow down phase. Um, this decision isn't going to affect anything else beat network. Uh, like I addressed the person that um, reached out to me 
about, you know, B Network being kind of quiet. I was like, eh, no, we haven't. <laughs> it's, just, it's just been the noise. <laughs> um, it's not going to affect anything B Network wise. Um, actually, using this opportunity, um, I am going to really get turn my mic up back to the place it was when we first launched. Um, you know, we're still going to, we still got back to the classics. Absolutely. Melanie Boulevard will be returning shortly. She got her own personal going on. Uh, so definitely uh, send your well wishes to, to, uh, to race the gym. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're just making a grown man decision to put this on pause for right now and uh, fix what we got going on. Uh, as far yeah, as, yeah. as far as myself is concerned, uh, one of the reasons this is coming out so late is I am currently packing to move. There has been the most, just, I'll, I'll use it in this sense, since this, <laughs> since this is technically isn't a PC word anymore. So now I'm using it in the sense of it being stupid. It has been the most retarded shift in my life. <laughs> 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 that, <laughs> that you know, for the people that do know what's going on, the way that things went down just in the last fucking month. You know, at one point. Boy, it was it was beating my ass. It was whooping the shit out of me. Um, but you know, at some point, you know, I, I've looked back on it. And I just chuckled. I'm like, wow, it's, it's just so crazy how certain shit can go 360 in a day. I'm sorry, 180 yeah. in a day. Yeah, 180 in a in a day. Yeah. And um, you know, I approached Kev and I was like, you know, what do you think about just going on a hiatus? And he's like, he's like, bro, I, I agree. He said it was something I was thinking about as well. So we both were at that same place, um, just realizing the shit that we got going on is affecting the consistency and above all the quality of the show. Because one thing, one other thing I've also heard is some of our conversation as far as like you know the jokes and just the general bads have seemed forced. So it's it, it's come across as if me and Kev had an issue, and. That's one of the reasons why I went into, you know, a long form of there's no problems between me and Kev whatsoever. It's yeah. just it's it, it, it's the it's the general human ability to not be able to fake it. I've always been somebody. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I've always been somebody that I, I've, I've always worn how I feel on my shoulder. As, as hard as I've tried not to, I've always tried to maintain a smile. I've always tried to you know, continue to work through certain things and get things done. At one point, if y'all remember, um, I took a day break. It was supposed to have been a week, but I took a day break from uh, just, just from doing things, being that, and just to make sure I stay behind the scenes because of a lot of uh, personal issues. Um, so this isn't anything new for me, but at this point, it's one of those things where it's noticeable in the quality. And that that is what really fucks with me, is that, you know, I couldn't even come on here. And again, I'm just speaking for myself. Kev can speak for himself. Um, I couldn't come on here and crack jokes and, you know, banter without thinking about what I have going on. Because the stuff I have going on is happening daily. Every day, it's, it's something with my current situation. And um, it just, it became really, really hard to mask. And the last thing I ever want to do, you know, I'm not a comedian. I'm not any, you know, in any way, you know, shape or form. Uh, you know, a professional uh, joke teller or anything like that. But, you know, I'm, 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 I'm quippy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got, <laughs> I, got, I got little jokes here and there. So, you know, at no, in no way, shape, or form do I ever want to get on here and force a laugh, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or you know, force conversation that in all complete honesty, I'm not feeling at the time. Um, right. You know, one of the reasons why the, the, the show is taking a hiatus, again, at least on, on, at least on my end, is um, as far as focused conversation, as we've been doing with the show, when we talk about certain stuff that's going on, you know, we can knock that out, no problem, because then we're just having a conversation about uh, something subject focused, something specific. The, the open dialogue is what's, it, it has become difficult because, you know, We've even gotten to the point we we kind of stopped asking each other how, how we're doing because we never had any positive updates for y'all. You know, it, it always yeah. ended up, it always ended up turning into some kind of complaint. So we tried to bypass that, get straight to the funnies, get straight to the you know to the joking around, having fun, and then get into the stories. You can only do that for so long because then the conversation becomes repetitive. Right, well, and not only does it become repetitive. I mean, when we got stuff going on, 
um, you know, regardless of what that stuff is, yeah, you can come in and, and maybe be funny for a couple of times, but after a while, you're like, yo, after this, this hour is up, I got to go back and deal with this shit. I don't want to deal with this shit. So Regular life. And in a lot of times, course. go ahead. I'm, I'm off. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, you're fine. I was going to say so. Unfortunately, you know, we, we, we got to do what we got to do. And a lot of times we have recorded, you know, whether it was over Zoom or, uh, or, or Kev actually came to, um, to record on the mics. We will be having all this fun on the show. And the moment we hit stop, me and Kev just, we, it's, <laughs> it's almost comedic yeah. in itself. <laughs> You would just see our energies just drop because it was so exhausting trying to force, you know yeah. what I'm saying, force the happies, force the fun, the fun. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I don't I don't think people realize like when you make a when you make a podcast and you've been doing it for as, as long as we've been doing it, regardless on the level that that takes energy, that takes effort. You know what I mean? So you got the regular effort of having your podcast and then you got to deal with the stuff that's at home, it gets exhausting. And depending on what's happening, it can get exhausting really, really fast. And like you said, I mean, it got to a point where we we, we started the show, how was your week, so on and so forth. And it got really, no, no, maybe not so quick, but we, we came to a point where we was like, yeah, we're not, we're not going to ask how the week was. I, actually, I think I remember the episode where you said it. You had asked me how my week was going. And you looked at me, you was like, you know what? I'm not even going to ask you how your week went. And we and just stopped. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, and, and we just stopped from there. So people just got to realize that everything takes energy. And, and if you want to do a podcast the right way, so to speak, you're going to put in that energy. But when it's something else personal that's going on that, that's taken away from that energy, it's hard to maintain. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, this isn't something – in, in our situation, because, you know, we own this – we're able to make this kind of decision, but this isn't something that's necessarily far fetched in, in media in general, you know, <laughs> for the hit niggas with history lessons of motherfuckers being burnt out. <laughs> you know, you can go back yeah. to 106 in Park and when Terrence J and Roxy had that fallout on TV and Roxy disappeared for like a month. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, you got the fallout between Angela Yee and uh, Charlemagne the God and Angela Yee disappeared for like a month. You know what I mean? Like it's. Mm-hmm. You know, it, all all this stuff isn't you know just out of you know out of the blue. You know, people they they need those times. The only different situations with them and us is they didn't own their platform, so they still have a contractual obligation to get it done. You know, you know we've been rocking for the amount of time that we've been rocking, and we've seen some great successes throughout the you know what I'm saying throughout the time. We own this. This is still our personal platform, so it's not like we have to you know, report to anybody else and like, yo, this is, you know, th- this is what's going on, yada, yada. If we see that it's affecting quality, which is affecting listenership, which is affecting, you know, morale, to be completely honest with you, then we know that we could take a step back. You know, you know, and the only thing we can do is, is hope and pray that the Ear Hustlers will be there uh, if and when we return. Um, but like I said, Beat Network isn't going anywhere. B Network is still rocking. Yeah. Uh, Kevin's going anywhere. You know, turn my mic up is a very specific focused conversation. You know, that right, we right. need to be personal, <laughs> you know, when it comes down to turn my mic up. We don't need to keep bringing down the conversation, talking about our personal lives or avoiding talking about our personal lives. You know, uh, the beat is going to be coming back. But again, back to the classic is still rocking. Um, 20 for 20 is going to come back. I, I think I announced it one time on the show before, but we, the way we've revamped 20 for 20 is fucking amazing. And y'all are going to love it when we bring it back. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be a beat network specific show <clears throat> uh, because as, like I said, as of right now, there won't be any noise. Um, you know, we're, we're going to still be rocking when it comes down to beat network. Have a lot of work to do. Uh, we've been filling out a lot of media applications. So, you know, y'all, y'all keep us in prayer and positive vibes that uh, <laughs> those applications come through. Because, you know, coming out of this pandemic, th- th- I think this is the crazy shit because for the stuff that we've applied for, it's all mass crowd shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the crazy part. The pandemic really was like, yeah, nah, niggas, nah, sit down somewhere. Go ahead, sit down. Y'all saw the momentum we was picking up in 2019, and we getting we getting right back to that, and I, I feel really good about it, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, but like I said, man, we, we just – 
we don't we, we don't want to bring anybody down. We don't want to make shit feel forced and then people walk away because of quality. The people that walked away because of the inconsistencies, I can understand. Um, mm-hmm. And it's funny because I've seen it from the outside looking in with other shows, you know, just talking to people who consume a lot of YouTube uh, stuff and, you know, just seeing like, no, oh, this person ain't always been consistent. And like, that's one main thing they bring up is consistency, consistency. Yeah, consistency and, is, is like key. And our personal has affected our consistency. So the people yeah, that have exactly. stuck around have been loyal, loyal ear hustlers, which, you know what I'm saying, we, which are the people that are listening into this episode right now. And just to go on the record, we love you guys. Y'all have yeah, always been absolutely. We, we thank you. We love you. Like, like everything. I don't, I don't think, I mean, I don't think people really realize how much like stuff can be going on in our personal lives. And we still try to come in and, and do a, give a quality episode. So for the people that stuck around, we, we thank you. We thank you so, so much. Absolutely. And definitely don't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? This isn't, you know, this isn't goodbye. This is, this definitely a see you later for now. Um, yeah. Just, just to think of it as this is, this is, uh, uh, this is a vacation that, that somebody that owns the platform can do. Just think of it that way. You know what I'm saying? When somebody goes off to school or when they go off, you know, to the military, or whatever, they ain't, ain't never going to see them again. I mean, unless some bullshit happens. Well, unless it's <laughs> the military, yeah, but. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but nine times that, hopefully they're going off to the military to work a desk job. There we go. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, they're going to the military. They, they're becoming a cook, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're working in military accounting, you know, taking care of the yeah. budgets. You yeah. know, this is this is military budget break. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, you know, this, you know, the five years we've been doing this show, man, has, has been so much fun and you know, and just and just being completely honest, it was fun until ultimately it wasn't because when you have to fake it, it doesn't come across as genuine. It comes across as forced. And yeah. you know that if you can feel it while you're doing it. You know the listeners can feel it while they're listening. It's just like when you're exactly. It's just like when you <laughs> when you're in a room. This, this is such a dark comparison, so my bad. It's just like when you're in a room with an abu- with, with a couple who abuses one another. <laughs> and, and you know, like, <laughs> and you know, some shit just went down. They just sitting there silence, and you sitting there like this energy is. <laughs> 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 Do y'all? Or, or- when uh, I want to see a couple that just got a couple that just got done fighting, and you coming over to the house and you knock on the door, and you walk in and everybody quiet. You're like, well, damn, what 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 didn't happen here? You know what I'm saying? You got you come in the house and you're just like, so um, uh, you know, uh, turkeys. Have y'all ever, <laughs> ever had a fried turkey? Because I had one this past holiday season, and <laughs> you just got to bring shit up and just hope hope everything is able to be rocked with correctly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. So so the last thing we ever want to do is is create that discomfort. And and again, the last thing we really want to do is create the narrative that there's a problem between me and Kev. Again, it's been my nigga for a very long time. <laughs> Not you know Yeah, we we we've we've definitely shared some 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 definitely I don't want to say intimate because that sounds gay, but intimate <laughs> moments. I'm about to say now people will walk away, did they fuck? <laughs> 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 Is it, was the sex bad? Is that well, why? Like, so wait, so now I got I got other questions now. <laughs> but right. uh, one of the things that me and Kev, you know, again, Kev, I'm, I'm pretty sure you remember this, and if you don't, I understand because it was fucking five years ago. One of the things me and Kev said before we even recorded episode one, I was still in San Francisco when we agreed to do the show. One of the things me and Kev says, like, bro, just pri- and Kev brought this up. Just promise me. Our business relationship will not affect our friendship, and I was like, "Absolutely not." And that's something that we've maintained. We've had business disagreements that had nothing to do with our person. We were able to disagree, argue, all these things from a from a business standpoint, and text each other the next day when we saw some ill shit on Instagram. You know what I mean? Like it was never, yeah. You know, this was never anything that you know affected our personal uh, our personal relationship nor did it affect our business relationship so you know it wasn't anything like oh we're walking away from this because we can't agree to do this everything me and kev has ever uh disagreed about when it came down to this show we've implemented we've implemented the the the, the ideas that he's had we've implemented the ideas that i've had and we found a general 
medium. So it's not so even in those disagreements, they they were still effective and they still contributed towards right. the show. And that's that's one thing that I honestly take pride in when it comes down to a lot of these uh, business relationships, because one, you'll watch it ruin a friendship. You'll watch it ruin a relationship, you know, because because of the business getting so personal. Me and Kev were able I to eat your butt. I eat your butt. <laughs> that's the, that's the walk away from this. Don't be Joe. <laughs> but, yeah, don't be Joe. But with me and Kev, you know, our disagreements always led to the betterment of the show, and you know, right. ma- making sure that, that that we did what we needed to do to get it going. And you know, this isn't something that we want to walk away from, but it is something that we realize that we we, we got to put it down for a little bit and. uh just get things going from there. Yeah, man. We, if we, we're going to come back better. We're going to come back more focused. It's just right now we just, we, just, we just need a break to get some other things in order. And then we can come back and, and be, be straight. Do you have a um, <laughs> almost 200 episodes? This is 199. We stopped. So our first episode back will be our 200th episode. So it will almost be like a restart. But in the 200 <laughs> episodes, do you have – you know, it ain't got to be an episode, but, like, just a, a moment uh, during recording the noise that kind of sticks out to you. Um, It's been so many moments, so that's really, really kind of hard to, to to think about. Um, You know what? I, I really enjoyed the interview with uh, Nick King. Yeah, that was a great – that was a great interview. I was just watching that one yesterday. I, I really enjoyed that. I really had fun. Um, and actually, um, well, shit, last episode, last episode, I walked away like, shit, that was a, that was a solid episode. I like that episode. So there have been a few. I, I would say the best way for me to look at it, in the course of a week, in the course of a week, there might be one or two episodes where I'd be like, okay, that was that shit. Right. You know, what I mean, I don't. It's not that I dislike the other episodes or anything like that. That's not the case at all. I like those episodes, but it might be one or two that st- that really sticks out to me. But off the top of my head, um, the episode last week I, I, I liked, and the episode with Nick King I really liked. Yeah, that, that episode with Nick King was was phenomenal. Uh, definitely one of my top points. Um, I got I got a couple uh, as far as moments. Okay. <laughs> as far as moments, I love doing um, Black Podcast Month. Um, that was just yeah, that was dope. That that, that, that was such a dope experience. Um, being able to you know reach all the way out to London uh, with the ladies from the Lemon Shade podcast, which was hilarious when we were talking about um, how uh, Quincy Jones had just completely run out of fucks for, for putting <laughs> <laughs> for putting Michael Jackson's business out there. Those ladies were amazing. I that, I don't think they're even doing their podcast anymore. I could be wrong. I have to look into it. I don't even think they're doing their podcast anymore. Um, but even doing their show helped our helped helped our international numbers, you know, shoot up to a place that I was like, damn, y'all gotta follow it like this? And y'all doing our local shit? Hey, appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, like and just at, at one point, you know, that, that that helped us, you know, make London our number two market, which was fucking phenomenal. Like I remember showing Kev the numbers we were doing in, in London. He was like, Where the fuck these people come from? <laughs> and then uh and then also uh recently where were we big? We were big in um, uh, uh, Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, somebody's out there getting high and, and listening to us. Right, you know what I'm saying? One of those little coffee shops listening to us talk our shit. I think we um, were number, what did I, number 22 out of the top 100 uh, entertainment media pod, uh, entertainment media podcast in uh, in Amsterdam. And that was, that blew my fucking head. I was like, wow. Like, you know, it's just so great to see yeah, that. that. At one point, we was planning on doing it. You know, we need to go ahead and hit that European tour. You know, <laughs> we slipped down a little bit in London, but you know, we can still try to hit out there and see what happens. At least get like 20, 30 people or something. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, that, you know, doing Black Podcast Month introduces a lot of people. Without Black Podcast Month, you know, we wouldn't have the relationship with Race to Gym that we have. So that's so. Yeah, that's, that's very, so very true. You know, so that, that also sparked a. Um, a, a, a new relationship there. Um, it was another standout that I had. Oh, <laughs> we're not going to mention the rapper, but as far as um, a moment that 
we was like, we got We need to get used to doing this. <laughs> we went to interview a rapper, and if you go look through the, uh, you go, you'll, you'll look, you'll look through the uh, the catalog. You'll, you'll probably figure out who it was. We went to go interview a rapper at his studio, and it was the most rapper shit ever. We walk in. Yeah, uh, I remember that day, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we walk and in. I, I don't. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but that was my first interview. Was it? Like that was a that, yes. That was my first time doing anything remotely close to that. That's right, because you had because I remember the first Black Podcast Month, something was going on. That's right. You actually, yeah, I, I wasn't able. To, yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> we walk in there. Everybody smoking weed. Moment. It's a mountain of weed on one of the tables, like a literal mountain. <laughs> and we walk in. He's like, no, we, we, we can just uh, record right here. And I look around, and all these niggas are staring at us. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> all right. So, you know, you know, wait a like, minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not only was they staring at us, and it's a mountain of weed, it's guns everywhere. It's, it's guns all over the fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> where where do you sat down and move the gun out of the cushion? Like, right. what? Oh, yeah, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all see here. Let me move this. I'm like, nah, you good because then my DNA is there. And <laughs> yeah, then I don't, I don't want none of them. Nah, nah. You know what? We brought our own chairs. I don't even want to. Matter of fact, we brought our own chair, our own table. We're gonna sit right here in the middle with our back to the wall, facing all y'all niggas. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but that ended up turning out being one of our best interviews. Um, yeah. Especially considering what that artist is doing right now. Um, he's making some solid fucking moves. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's making some solid moves. Solid fucking moves. I'm like, hey, man, get get yours, bro. But that day, that day was so funny because we've never packed up and left somewhere so fucking fast. Right. <laughs> we, we got the hell up out of there. We got outside. Kev was like, "Hey, from now on, these rap niggas come to us." <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the, these type rap niggas come to us from now. Because well, we walked in, I was all like, "Listen, y'all got this whole studio. Y'all got all this shit going on. If y'all rob us for four hundred dollars worth of equipment, <laughs> then y'all y'all right. shit, y'all shit ain't buzzing the way that y'all needed to buzz." I'm like, "Nigga, I've seen who you've worked with. Your pocket should be good." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, those were. Yeah, that, I got, I got, I got, I got to admit that that was a that was a moment for me too. That that really was a moment for me too. Because afterwards, I was like, "Damn, did that shit really just happen? <laughs> did that that did, did we really just do this?" Right, exactly. But it, that hey, was a moment for me. The numbers reflected great. Um, mm-hmm. you know, dude, dude kept in contact with us. You know, he shot, he shot us out and everything like that. So we, you know, we we definitely appreciate him for that one. Like I said, we're not putting out his name like that because I don't. I'm not sure if he wants everyone knowing <laughs> how he conducts his interview. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, we we gonna leave it at that. <laughs> like I said, y'all probably when you look at all the rappers we've interviewed, you'll probably be like, oh, it had to be this nigga. <laughs> yeah, and if you and if you are like a day one ear hustler. You probably know who it is. You, you more than likely know exactly who it is. Um, I just thought about it. That that wasn't your. That, that may have been your first in person interview. But remember, our very first interview was with Carl Tart when he was writing for Mad TV. You're right. You're right. That was my. That was my first in person interview. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yo, Carl so I can, Tart was because I was nervous as shit with Carl Tart. I could tell this story because uh, this was back during the one mic days. So. Mm-hmm. We didn't have the board. We didn't have. We had a mic and we had my laptop, so we didn't have any way of patching in phone calls. So we told Carl, "We're going to FaceTime you, but then we also need you to call us on your cell on on a on, on a cell phone." No, I'm sorry. We skyped him on on his computer and he called us on his we cell. Skyped phone. him. And called the only, yeah, because we had we had we had iPhone here. <laughs> the, the only reason we had to do that is because whatever system I downloaded to patch in phone calls for some reason didn't allow us to hear. It patched in the phone call right. to the system, no problem, but it didn't allow us to hear. We ended up having the same issue when uh, Jay recorded 
Oh goodness, I really don't want to forget her name. Um, I feel bad because she kind of got played. The by chick from girl. the chick from all that, right? From all that, yeah. I, I, I want to get yeah, her, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Want to get her name right because I, you know, I just want to be respectful, especially because of how they did her uh, on all that. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So what are we doing? We googling on there. Angelique Bates. I think it started with the. It was a. Uh, it was Angelique Bates. It's, oh, okay. It was yeah. no team. Was no tea at all. <laughs> and, right. and one, one of the issues that ended up happening is however the recording came through I had set up everything incorrectly so you couldn't hear her for shit so I called her personally I was like do you know I greatly apologize you know we would love to you know saying get this episode out if we can get you to record again tomorrow it'd be great she was with it we were able to fix everything episode came out shit was great but anyway we had that situation with Carl and big up to Carl Tart man because he because again, that's a, he's a busy individual. At the time, he was writing and producing for Mad TV. Uh, he was a. And didn't didn't he have to call back in another time? Yeah, he did. Didn't he did. did didn't something happen to where like the episode like we we did the episode, but for whatever reason, it didn't record, and we had to do it over again. It was like the second half of the episode started to fuck up. Yeah, something. It was it was something something. And he ended up jumping back in. And like I said, he was a busy dude. He was doing Mad TV. He was doing Drunk History with Comedy Central. He was doing his um, his uh, improv show with his with his group, White Women, which is still the funniest name for a group of black men. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, so that 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 those those one mic days, man. The, when I when we tell you get it out the mud, that's what we mean. <laughs> like really getting the shit out. The yeah. Mud. But uh, yeah, so we we ain't gonna hold y'all here too long, man. We just wanted to. Uh, above all, come on and say thank you. Thank you for rocking with us for the amount of time that you were rocking with us. Um, I wish we had a return date for you, uh, but like I said, it's just we have a lot we need to figure out in our own personal lives as Carl Sampson and Kevin Shaw um, that that we don't want to affect Big Los and Hollywood Kevin when we do the noise. But we we appreciate y'all beyond words. You know, it's so much love and so much gratitude that we have uh, for the people that remained, you know, ear hustlers throughout this time. You know what I mean? It's it. Yeah. It, it, there, there's, there's, there's no amount of words that I can express my gratitude to you guys, you know, besides just saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Like, the times where, where Lois would tell me, oh, yeah, you know, listeners increased or um, somebody commented or something like that, like that, that lit up my heart to, to actually think that somebody is commenting or listening to something that I said. Like it, it, it was dope. So from the bottom of my heart, I, I want to thank everybody that that stuck with us, and even the people that gave us a shot. You know what I mean? If you gave us a shot and we just weren't for you, I appreciate you doing that. Um, but I, I just really just want to thank you. Just, just, just thank you. Not only thank the the ear hustlers for for listening, but thank you for you choosing me as your co-host, man. And I can, I can, and I'm happy. That I, I I know we're gonna be straight when we get back. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, my, my my bad for uh for, for asking uh two two people prior, <laughs> but it, it wasn't because it wasn't because you're not my nigga is because I, I thought maybe a, a male female dynamic would have been solid, but you know just it, it, which which most podcasts do they do a, a male and female dynamic so yeah it's, it's no no thing no thing at all but but when it come but when it came down to okay well. I don't want to teach on to force that. You know, the very first person I was like, I, I got to holla at Kev. Who do I talk? Who do I talk some of the most shit with? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The damn near daily basis. Like, <laughs> we go ahead and hit up Kev. Uh, but yeah, man. And, and in that hit up, it's been five years of, of this, you know, almost 200 episodes yeah. of this. And it's, um, you know, like I said, we're, we're, we're going to continue on. We will be back. Make sure y'all, you know, keep keep on the lookout with, you know, with what we got going on. But definitely stay in tune with what B Network got going on because. B Network is going to continue on, new content, you know, more content, the whole nine. Like, it's, it's going to be a real good time. So, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Thank you for sticking in with us for the five years. When we come back, we're going to be better than ever. So, you know, we, we greatly appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. And when we, we come back, it's going to be even more shit to talk. So, definitely stay tuned. Especially with how the world is acting right now, boy. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of shit to talk, but make sure y'all, you know, y'all tune in to Turn Mic Up, tune in to Back to the Classics, uh, look out for the return of Melanin Boulevard, look out for the return of 20 for 20, the whole nine, man. It's, it's going to be a great time going forward. So uh, for the last time for right now, as always, we appreciate you guys tuning in. 
As always, we appreciate the support. And as always, it's Big Los. Hollywood care. It's the noise.